The next Overwatch 2 hero is being teased on Friday, November the 4th at the Overwatch League Grand Finals. But the question is, who could this hero be? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to break down the most likely candidates for this hero. But we're also going to look at what Blizzard have said so far. And I think we can base some speculation, some wild speculation on who this hero could just be based off all of that goodness. So let's get stuck into this. This is a tweet from Play Overwatch, literally has just gone out, and they say, get an early look at the next Overwatch 2 hero. Friday, November the 4th at the Overwatch League Finals. Tune in and a, well, an eye emoji. I can't help but feel they could have done something a bit fancier here. They could have had some sort of teaser graphic, maybe a GIF or a little video or, or something. I don't know. You know, like the old teasers used to be? But now we just get this. So I guess this is an announcement of the teaser. So yeah, okay, fine. I'll, I'll take that. So who is this hero? Well... Aaron Keller actually accidentally mentioned that this hero is going to be a male character. Now, he did this during an Overwatch League broadcast a couple of months ago now. Uh, well, I say a couple of months ago, start of October, I think it was. Um, they basically brought him into the mobile truck that they've got, which is sort of the studio for Overwatch League, um, which is right next to the Overwatch 2 Team 4 building in the Blizzard campus in Irvine. Uh, and he said, oh, yeah, the, the new character, everyone's going to love him. And oh, yeah, OK, it's a he. So that narrows things down a little. We know it's not a female character, so we can be like, OK, it's a he. And there are a number of he's in Overwatch law that we know about. So we can kind of start speculating as to which one is going to be this new tank hero. Now, what's interesting as well is Alec Dawson with the um, Q&A he held on Twitter. Of course, Alec is now the lead hero designer on Overwatch 2. He was asked about tank diversity, and this is what he said. It plays a significant role. At the outset of a new hero, we establish what archetype they fit into for game needs. Goal here is to have more diversity for different tank playstyles and finding new spaces for the role in general. Now, what's interesting about that is this means that the new tank, whoever it turns out to be, has got a completely radical different play style to any tank before them. And when you look at the tanks, well, I think that's really cool because what could this tank be? Maybe some sort of high mobility tank? Well, the issue with that is you've already got dive tanks. Maybe it's a new dive tank. We just I just don't know. Maybe a high DPS tank, maybe a low DPS tank, but it's got some sort of way of protecting the team i don't know you can literally go wild with speculation there and it's only a little smidgen of information there but it's really cool to see that and we can definitely tie that into what this new hero could actually be so let's take a look at the candidates now i think the first one and this is probably where a lot of people's money would go if they were betting is malga we've known about malga for a very long time now of course malga is associated with talon but what makes malga really funky is his kit was Sigma's kit, but it never made any sense because Malga is a talon heavy tank. So you'd expect to have Malga with, you know, dual link chain guns or mini guns, you know, just like the bosses from the Blackwatch event. However, Sigma's kit made absolutely no sense. So we all know now it is quite established within Overwatch's history uh, that the devs basically made Sigma on a, on a whim almost to fit the kit because the kit was so great. And then we ended up with Sigma and not Malga. So that should have been Malga's time to shine. But he wasn't that new tank because the kit didn't make any sense. So I think you would bet on Malga being the next tank. And when we talk about tanks with a different sort of play style, maybe Malga is this ultra DPS style tank. And at the end of the day, tanks are DPS in Overwatch 2 anyway. So I don't know, a tank with dual miniguns would be awesome. <laughs> What about Mauga's law, though? This is the funky stuff. So this is taken from the uh, Overwatch wiki, and this is uh, from a combination of bits of law taken from, uh, I think, from a short story and also from the comic which featured, in fact, introduced us uh, to Mauga. It was, of course, the Batiste comic, but Mauga's in it. And, and this is what it says. Tall and muscular, Mauga often portrays himself as being a big, dumb brute. However, this is a facade as he possesses cunning attributes he talks fast and loose and has a tendency to treat strangers as if they are friends. He is proficient in close combat. Batiste regarded him as being like a demon, a demon, a sociopath and a sadist, a sadist, even sadist. <laughs> what am I going on about? A sadist. Malga flips between his lighter and darker sides quickly, though can lose himself in the latter. Only Batiste has ever been able to talk him down from this state in the field. Batiste himself serves as a blind spot for Malga, who's shown him mercy when he might otherwise not do so. Okay, so we know he's some sort of close range powerhouse as well, but like I said, 
if he's a heavy assault for Talon, you'd expect him to have the dual miniguns and getting in there close range and slamming people. So Mauga is definitely a candidate. Another candidate is this unknown Omnic, who is an associate of Talon. Now, if you completed the Storm Rising um, Archives event, at the end, you would see Talon, well, the leader of Talon, Doomfist, meeting this Omnic um, in Temple of Anubis. And we've not seen anything about this Omnic since. And you can see, based from the, on the wiki, the information we've got here, it's very minimal. And this is what it says. Six years ago in Cairo, Doomfist approached this Omnic, praising them for their organization's noble goals to fight for their own people, though claimed they were doomed to fail unless their organization chose to work with Talon. While the Omnic expressed interest in the offer, the conclusion and aftermath remain unknown, as Doomfist was arrested by an Overwatch strike team in Singapore roughly three weeks later. And the trivia information is, based on the Omnic's purple and grey colour scheme and red lights, as well as their organisation's goal of fighting for their kind, the Omnics, it's speculated that this character is tied to Null Sector. With the Havana map, there are a number of newspapers added to the game that read, and get ready, I'm about to butcher this, Quenes Null Sector, <laughs> uh, further giving support to that theory. So yeah, this could be a tank. I mean, it looks beefy. Maybe it's a tank, who knows? Now we've got other candidates as well, because we've got the Mecha Squad. Now, Diva is obviously part of the Mecha Squad. Diva is a tank. Now, there are three other males in the Mecha Squad. However, when we look at their mechs, I don't really think they fit the tank kind of concept. So this is Overlord. Now, his mech doesn't look very big. It kind of looks more DPS-y, especially with the, the big chain gun. It looks very mobile, um, this does. It doesn't really look like a tank to me. It doesn't look like Diva's mech. And of course, we know there is the absolutely massive mech, of which I forgot the name of the mech. Oh no, what's it called? Demon. I think it's Demon's mech. Uh, but she's female. So we know it's not her because, well, Aaron Keller has already told us it's a male, the new tank. So I don't think it's going to be Overlord. He just doesn't look tanky enough. Uh, we also get this uh, as well, which is the Casino mech. And again, this looks more like a, a DPS, maybe even a support mech. Um, but again, it looks very fast, looks very rapid. Looks like a jet fighter this does. It doesn't look like big heavy mech that's designed to take a bunch of damage uh, but the design of it looks incredible i mean we'll probably will see these as heroes at some point because why go into all of this detail of designing their mechs i mean they look really really good we, we also get this as well um so this is king now king really does stink of a dps mech i mean he's got multiple launch rocket system there on his shoulder he's got what looks to be some sort of like laser cannon plasma cannon arrangements on his arms he's also got weapons on his knees if you look there so i don't think this is a tank but then it might be you don't know like I, who knows it could be a tank but i i don't think it is it just doesn't feel like a tank to me and finally let's end the video on maximilian i don't think it's maximilian maximilian is the accountant for talon and when we met him in the storm rising um pve event uh, in the the in-game cinematics he, he's very weaselly he's not a tank he's not some guy who's like brawling around he's just a, a skinny little omnic who's an accountant so i don't think it's going to be him well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a breakdown of the possible candidates for who this tank could be. I'm excited. It's good to get news that makes me excited about Overwatch again. <laughs> and not just moaning about what's going on in the store and the microtransactions. So let me know in the comments below, who would you put your money on as the next hero in Overwatch 2? Remember, it's a tank and it's a male. All right, guys. I'll catch you lovely lot on the next video. See you soon.